Hey guys, hello, we keep it dirty off road. And today we're gonna to do a quick video on a mod I wanted to do to my truck since we got it. And this is a fix that just annoys the crap out of me. This is a Rouse truck and it has the gauge in the vent. And there's a couple reasons why I don't like this. One, it's too bright. It doesn't auto dim. So at night, it just blinds you. Two, I live in California. It gets over hundred degrees and the airflow that's coming out of this vent is awful. So it sucks. So in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and swap that out with a stock bezel. And I may have to change the ring because this looks a little too shiny for that one, especially considering how all the other ones are not shiny. And get it back to stock and figure out a new location for that gauge. Let's get to it. <laughs> okay, I was expecting that, but sure. Let's get that clip. <laughs> Wait a minute, how many clips are there? What the hell, that's a lot of clips. How am I going to do this when it's this like that? Hey, that should give me this bit There we go. Well, it's a good thing they made this serviceable the way they installed it. How the hell are you supposed to take this off? Let's take off this tape and find out what we got on here. Okay, so this is a, it's a crappy install. This should have a pigtail connector on it. It does it, goes down in here, and then it splits off somewhere down in there. We're gonna go and cut it and put a connector on it. And I think that's what we're gonna do for now. You ready? Cut it, cut this. No going back. No going back. Hey, 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 hey. Now we can do that. If you look at the rings, I think we're gonna swap out the ring too. <laughs> Did you break it? No, I don't think we can swap out the ring anymore. No, the rings can't be swapped out. Well, if we do, it's gonna break. If you break one more, I don't think it's a good idea. There we go. That sucks. He didn't break it! Oh! Hey, put that on there. Now he did. Mm. I'm gonna put this upside down. Get it in right, Dad. Does the ring location matter? It's supposed to be upside down like this. A big one on bottom, small one on top. You like that? Uh, like that. Um. Okay. And then shove it in. Does it need the connector attached to it? No, no it doesn't need anything. There we go. Back to stock. Now we gotta route these two cables downward. There's a vacuum line and then there's regular lines. And we're gonna have to route them downwards. And then we gotta figure out where we're gonna put the gauge. Tag. All right. Oh yes, put your Oh, home. what the hell? Which I let go of the vacuum brake, that's all. That's the two lines down there. And don't mind the dust. There's a reason why her name's Sue's here. Yeah. The reason why his name is what? Susia. What's that mean? Dirty. Uh, oh, shit. What is that? So it's got to go in and then go in. What was it supposed to pop out? No, oh, there's a little trim right here. This doesn't want to go in. Down here. I guess. Yeah. This has got to pop out. You got to love it when shit pops out a very different way than it goes back together. Popping things out that aren't supposed to come out is tight. Okay, so now we got enough room so we can put this back in. Hopefully, there we go. Now we can put those back tiny in. screws back in. And like an idiot, I forgot to silicone that hole, but that's okay. Hey, hey, Dad, Dad, you gotta smack it. That's not going anywhere. Fuck. <laughs> I should have silicone that hole in Oh well. We're gonna have a vented section down there. <laughs> hey, at least your leg will be cold. No, you can't. <laughs> now we gotta figure out where we're gonna put the gauge, if at all. Release the gauge. It doesn't wanna come out. Ah. Come out, you bitch. It's like super tight in there. I wanna try to use a plastic pry tool, but we're gonna have to use razor pry tools. Damn it. Man, it's, it's a tight fit. Might also mess up the gauge too. <clears throat> Dude, why'd they put this in so tight? There we go. Ah, stop moving. Okay, gauge is up. Now where to put it? Yeah, now where to put it. So unfortunately, this gauge is broken. You guys hear that? The axle nozzle is broken. They, they won't be able to see in there. So it's not worth putting back in. So I think for now, we're gonna tape it off. We're gonna tape off the vacuum line and not run a gauge for a while. Until you can find a new one. Cheap fucking gauges. It fucking sucks. We're gonna have to get a replacement gauge and then we gotta figure out where we're gonna mount it. So for now, just gonna zip tie the lines together and tape everything up, especially this vacuum line. We need to make sure that that vacuum line is taped up. So we'll just keep that under the dash for now. So I think we're gonna leave it temporary for now. I got my vent back. 
It's not the nicest one, but hey, at least I got a vent back for those warm days. Once we get a replacement gauge, we'll do an update and show you guys where we're gonna put our gauge. Three days later. So it's been a few days and I got myself a new gauge and it's just a cheap old little Amazon gauge. The reason I got it is because it can go green and I got a little pod for it to go into so we can try some new locations. Now this thing was only about 25, 30 bucks. It wasn't too expensive and it's a four wire connection so that it can dim, which is kind of important. I did try to look up the Roush gauge to see if I can get the Roush gauge, but it was like two to $300 and it was only a three wire, no dimming. So I would have just had the same issues as before. So I'll figure it's gonna aftermarket one cheap one try it out lime green and see how it works so let's go ahead and get this installed hopefully it's easy now we need to figure out where we're going to place this hopefully we can find a good spot that's out of the way too because i don't want this thing to be blinding and annoying initially if you guys remember the gauge was there so we could probably do something like put it here it might look kind of cheesy not only that i would have to cut a hole in order to get all the cables to go through the other option is we can be really silly and put it like right there <laughs> but then it's gonna block my RPMs. Maybe even put it down here. So after trying a few spots, I think I'm gonna put it down there. I don't really need it in my line of sight. I need to be able to glance at it. Can't really put it anywhere there without, you know, making a big hole. The other option would be to put a big hole down there. I think that right there is gonna be the best option. Let's give that a try. Hopefully it works. And I can route the cables through that opening right there. Have it all come out the right there. Let's give it a try. So if you guys remember from last time, we brought our cables down, went ahead and took off the panel that goes right there. There's also this metal plate that goes right there. We took that off too. That uses seven millimeters. Those are eight millimeter heads. All right, now we're gonna try to pull the cables through. So we can get our wiring up here and get this figured out. Okay, so apologize I can't film all this guys, but I got the line ran in, I got the wires ran in. It's all connected up. And now we just gotta figure out the wiring situation and test this out. We're also gonna have to tap that in order to get dimming function to work. So that's the next thing we're gonna do. Now, this is what the cabling was in the truck. I'm gonna have to fix it because it's kind of dangling in there, kind of dangerous, but we'll, we'll fix that later. But first, kind of guessing this is ground, that's hot, and that's our switch. According to this gauge pod, black is ground, red is switch, so it's going to the white wire, and then yellow is constant. Orange is our dimming. So we're gonna have to find a dimming and connect it to that. But for right now, I just wanna make sure that it works. So let's give that a try. First off, the truck is off. That is off. The truck on. There it is. Loose gauge is on. A few moments later. Okay, we got the hot side wired in. Working good, and we got a line green. <laughs> now, we need to figure out where to wire that one into back there, so we gotta take that out. We took this off to see if we could find a connection there. So you guys know how to do this. Take both of those bolts off, pop this off, and then you can pop that piece off. Tapped in behind the switch, there is a white and purple wire. Now, it might look a little yellow on yours like ours did, but it is actually white and purple. You're gonna tap into that, and just to show you guys that it works, we have it plugged in. This thing's all the way full brightness. You can see it dim. It's a very subtle dim. I hope this camera's picking it up. It works. And the way to test it is you gotta have the sensor blocked, guys, otherwise it won't dim. So make sure that sensor's blocked up at the dash. Test it out, confirm your wiring, and there you go. Now we're gonna go ahead and clean this up and hopefully we got it all done. We got that panel popped back in, we got that in. Got a cable wired and integrated. All we gotta do now is tuck it in. Okay, so there we go. So when I'm driving down the road, just gotta look down there and it's right there. Seems to be pretty good. Again, it's not ideal, but it makes it so that I have it in view without it being a nuisance when it's uh, way too bright. I would say that is the one nuisance is that the color keeps changing after every boot up. Forgot to do that. Ooh, nice. And then as you guys will see, there it dims down a little bit. It's only about 30%, but it's enough. It's more than what the Roush gauge did. Now let's see if it works. So now we're on our typical road. We're gonna do a quick test and see if it works. Focus, camera. It's working. Simple install guys, if you guys wanna do this. I get my bed back right in time for the California summers, which I'm gonna need it because it's March and it's already in the 90s out here. That means that it's gonna be a really hot summer getting it. All right guys, put any questions or comments below. Uh, please consider subscribing and thank you for watching.